Okay, I love these. I just love these exponent problems. They're really enjoyable for me. Okay. Um, first, before we plug in the value of x and the value of y, let's simplify what we've already been given. Okay. We were given 4 x to the negative 3 y to the third. And we need to look at it and say, what are we jumping? This is what we're jumping because it's got a negative exponent. Okay? So we keep the 4 on the top. We keep the y cubed on top. And we jump the x to the negative 3 to the bottom as x cubed. Now it makes sense for us to sub in because now we're not jumping and juggling things around. Okay? So we say 4 times, and y on the top is equal to negative 1. Negative 1 raised to the third power over x. And what is x equal to? x is equal to 3 raised to the third power. Now, negative 1 to the third power, what that really says is negative 1, times negative 1 times negative 1. And you should be able to see that negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. Positive 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. So we get negative 1 on the top times 4 for a negative 4. And on the bottom, we get 3 cubed. 3 times 3 is 9. Times 3 is 27. And that is our answer. And where do we see that? We see that here at B. Okay, let's keep going. We're going to jump what we need to jump over the bar. For number 8, we see this 2 to the negative 2 and this x to the negative 3. They both have negative exponents, so they will come to the top as 2 to the second times x to the third over what was still on the bottom, y to the fifth. And if we simplify that, 2 to the second is equal to 4, so we get 4x cubed over y to the fifth. Now it makes sense for us to substitute in the values of the variables. And what are the values of the variables? x is 2, y is negative 4, and Okay, now this is what we've got. And this is kind of an interesting problem. I think that I actually will really enjoy explaining this. Okay, I'm going to write this out. 4, this 4 in the front, uh, let me mark it. This 4 right here, that's equal to just 2 times 2, right? So I'm going to write that as 2 times 2, okay? And this 2 to the third right there is equal to 2 times 2 times 2. Yeah? Okay. Now on the bottom, what do we got? We've got negative 4. 4. Really, a negative 4 is like negative 1 times 4. And 4 is just 2 times 2, right? It's like that. And how many times are you doing that? You're doing that 5 times. So I'm going to actually make a little bit of room just to try and squeeze it in. I'm actually going to do it in a different color. I'm going to say we've got, let's do negative 4 to the fifth power. So we've got negative 1 times 2 times 2. That's what negative 4 is. Okay, times negative 1 times 2 times 2 times negative 1 times 2 times 2 times negative 1, times 2 times 2, times negative 1, times 2 times 2. It's a negative 1, okay? Um, let's deal with the negatives first. Let's deal with the negatives first. Negative times negative, positive. Positive times negative, negative. Negative times negative, positive. And positive times negative, negative. So the whole thing will end up being negative. Yeah? Okay, now let's deal with the rest of it. We can just cancel 2's top and bottom. We can cancel a 2 and a 2. 
So you can cancel another two and another two. Cancel another two and another two. We can cancel another two and another two. And we can cancel another two and another two. And there's nothing left on top except when you cross everything out, you call it a one. So we've got negative one on top over. Essentially, what we've got is two times two times two times two times two. How many of them do we have? We have five of them. So we've got over 2 to the fifth. And if we wanted to resolve that, we would say that's like negative 1 over 2 to the fifth is 32. And that's what we've got. We could have multiplied this negative 4 to the fifth power and got this huge number, but I know that 4 is just two twos multiplied together. So if we've got some twos here and some more twos here, they're ready to cancel out some of the ones that we've got on the bottom. And so that's what I did. I just expanded it and canceled, so I never had to go really big. And then where's the answer? Where is the answer? It is here, C, negative 1 over 32. Nice. And last one here, number 9, what are we going to do? We're going to jump over the bar what we need to jump over the bar. You can see that y to the negative 5 on top becomes y to the 5th on the bottom, and x to the negative 3rd on the bottom becomes x to the positive 3rd on top. Easy. And now we can sub in. We can say parentheses, whatever x is, to the 3rd, and parentheses, whatever y is, to the 5th. And what are those numbers? Let's see, x is 2. Y is negative 4. And let's do the same thing we did from the last problem again. Okay? Uh, we are going to expand this out. Um, by the way, we know that, just, just for our sake, we know that an odd number of negatives being multiplied together, every two negatives will make a positive. So if there's an odd number of them, like, and I'll write this out. Actually, maybe it's helpful for you to see what I'm saying. Forget about the numbers. If we just did negative times negative times negative times negative times negative, because you can see how we have that, that negative number being multiplied together five times. So negative times negative, positive. Positive times negative, negative. Negative times negative, positive. Positive times negative, negative. We're going to have a resulting number that is negative. So we can just say it's going to be negative, and it doesn't matter in the fraction, does not matter where you put the negative. You put it out front, you put it on top, put it on the bottom, it's going to make the whole thing negative. So we're just going to put a negative right here, knowing that the whole thing is going to be negative. Yeah? Now, now what we can do is we can say, okay, let's expand that 2 to the third to be 2 times 2 times 2, and let's expand that 4 to the fifth to be 4. Each 4 is 2 times 2. So that is 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 times 4. You can see that I wrote 2 times 2, or 4, 5 times. That's why. That's because we had it raised to the fifth power. Okay, we already dealt with the negatives. Now what are we going to do? Let's cross out any 2s that we've got. Pair of 2s, pair of 2s, pair of 2s. One on top, one on the bottom. Nothing left on top, so we have what on the top? We have a negative 1 on top. And what's on the bottom? Let's calculate this out. We've got 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8 times 2 is 16, times 2 is 32, times 2 is 64, times 2 is 128. And we are left with negative 1 over 128. And that is answer C. Done.